Hello dear students, in this class let us learn about the contributions by one great physicist Galileo Galilei. So you might have heard about him. So he was born in 1564, he lived in the 16th century and he was a prominent physicist who made contributions in a wide variety of fields like astronomy, mechanics and other related mathematics and other related fields. So he was often called as father of modern astronomy and father of modern physics and even father of science. So he died in 1642. One of the key point that I should mention about Galileo Galilei is that he actually emphasized a lot on experimental observation and then formulating the theory corresponding to that. So here you can read about the early childhood of Galileo Galilei. He was born in Pisa, Italy and he had a family consisting of five brothers and sisters. His father was a musician and he joined for medicine at the age of 17 in University of Pisa but later he preferred the study of mathematics. So one of the ma main fields in which Galileo Galilei contributed a lot was the field of astronomy. So in whatever field he worked, he emphasized on experimental observations as I have said. And from these observations, he tried to develop the corresponding theories. So astronomy was one particular field in which Galileo Galilei contributed a lot. Mainly he was able to observe a lot of phenomena happening out there in the space using his telescopes. He spent a lot of time observing these planets and stars and thus was able to detect many unseen phenomena until then. So in the 1610 he formed his own telescope and using this telescope he was able to magnify 20 times more than the regular telescopes. Galileo was not the person who found the telescope but he built one for himself and used that to detect many phenomena, many spatial observations. So he found that Jupiter had four moons and these moons were actually orbiting Jupiter itself. Now what are the moons of Jupiter? The Jupiter's moons are Io, Io, Ganymede, Europa and Callisto. So he found these four moons of Jupiter. Jupiter has other moons too but these were visible then and he proposed that heliocentric theory is actually true based on the observation that the four moons of Jupiter are in fact rotating around the Jupiter and not around Earth. So that was a strong point that supported the heliocentric theory and another famous book of him is the starry messenger in which he actually wrote down many of his findings and he also made other observations like he found that the surface of the moon is not uniform there are crates and hills on the surface of the moon so we can see about that Although Galileo was not the first to invent the telescope, he was the first to use it scientifically to perceive and observe heavenly objects and record his findings and discoveries. And this telescope he used to observe many of the stars and Jupiter's moons as we have said. So this is the picture of Jupiter's moon. You can see four of them are visible. Now even more moons of Jupiters are actually found out and Galileo found that the surface of the moon is not perfect. The moon, the satellite of earth is not perfect and it consists of small crates and small hills on the surface. So until then moon was considered to be a heavenly body that is perfect but with Galileo and his observation that theory is actually getting down. 
and Galileo made contributions not only in the field of astronomy but also in the field of mechanics. So we have heard about many stories relating to the simple pendulum, the hanging lamps of the church and so on. Galileo found out that for a pendulum its time period is only a function of length and does not depend on the mass of the pendulum. So time period is proportional to, now we know it is proportional to root of length, 2 pi into root of L by G is the equation. But Galileo was the first to propose that time period is actually related to length of the pendulum. Earlier it was thought that it depends on the mass suspended at the end of the pendulum. So Galileo while he was studying at the University of Pisa, he began working and studying the pendulum and in 1602 he made an important discovery. His discovery concluded that the period does not depend on the mass of the swing and it only depends on the length of the swing and this idea contributed to the idea of pendulum clock later on. And he also made a lot of studies and experiments using inclined planes. So he found that if we put an object here and roll it down, it will actually gain momentum and it will continue to move even after crossing this inclined plane. So the concept about inertia was actually known from the times of Galileo itself, but it was Newton who actually theoretically put down it as a law as he learned in Newton's laws. But Galileo already knew about the concept of inertia and the continuous motion of balls unless it is stopped by a force. So as you can see, he performed a series of experiments and he also performed a significant experiment where he rolls balls of different masses down an inclined plane. When the ball reached the bottom of the plane, it continued to move forward on the level surface even though no force is acting on it. Therefore, Galileo had acknowledged that the rolling ball or object overcome and possessed inertia. So this concept is actually found theoretically found in the principles put forward by Newton in the first law of motion but this was already known from the time of Galileo itself and Galileo this found this from experimental observations that is what we are talking about. Whatever theory Galileo tried to formulate he always performed experiments and carefully observed them to come up with that. In the case of this inclined planes or the pendulums as we have seen or the astronomical observations he made, Every, everything was made on very meticulous experiments that he had developed or observations he had made. So that is the importance of Galileo on one hand, a scientific study, experimental observation, then carefully drafting the theory. Behind that is one part followed by Galileo and we can call that as truly scientific, right? Science is based on experimental data or empirical evidence and that trait is visible from the studies of Galileo. And today we know about inertia as a tendency for a body to continue its motion. Earlier when it was not known in the 16th century itself Galileo had this idea about inertia and he made a lot of observations with regard to spatial objects, heavenly bodies, especially we saw about the moons of Jupiter, then observation about our, our own moon, its surface and he had also found that the surface of the sun contains some black spots and based on the motion of these black spots he found that sun is also actually re revolving around its own axis. So all these observations he made using the telescope he had built for his own purpose and he also wrote down all the observations on one important book called starry messenger. So I hope the key points are clear for you and he, he also developed a lot of small devices like Galilean thermometer, Galilean geometric and military compass, telescope and compound microscope. He built it very carefully and that was also another contribution by Galileo and he passed away in 1642 and his tomb is found in Florence, Italy. And I owe these slides. I take, took these slides from SlideShare. And thank you for the source. I hope the post is clear for you. Thank you.